Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Children, as you all are aware that we were doing chapter 11 that is light, shadows and reflection. And uh, till yesterday we have finished with the concept of light and shadows. And yesterday we had started reflection of light. Now what do you mean by a reflection of light? Reflection of light means when a source of light or a ray of light falling on any surface and then reflected back from that. And that will help you to see any object, anything which is kept in a room. Now reflection of light is the process of sending back the light rays which fall on the surface of an object. So that is known as reflection of light. Reflection of light is basically meant as process of sending back the light when that light or a ray of light which fall on that particular object. Now if that ray of light is falling on any object we must require a screen in which or uh, anything on which we can find it out that image which is forming. So here that here we are going to uh, do one more thing that we are going to discuss about plane mirrors or mirror we generally use at our home. There one surface is polished and that polished surface is only used to send the ray or the light which is falling on its surface and then it will be sent it back and then only uh, we can find it out we can see our image in that mirror now a plane mirror is what mirror if reflection of light we were doing so we must understand what is mirror and uh, generally we say that an object which reflect light well is called mirror generally we uh, use this definition that uh, an object which reflect light well is called a mirror but a plane mirror is a thin flat smooth sheet of glass having a shiny coating of silver metal or any aluminium metal on one side so if you have to define what is mirror or what is a plane mirror, now mirror is required to see an image that what kind of an image which is going to form in the uh, mirror. So first of all a plane mirror is a, a plane mirror is a thin is a thin flat and flat and smooth and smooth sheet smooth sheet of a glass of a glass having a shiny coating, shiny coating of silver metal or silver metal or aluminium also. Aluminium metal is also used to make a coating on one side of that glass aluminium metal on one side on one side so basically a mirror if you have seen that a plain mirror which you normally use at our home in that you might have seen that other side of that one side which we are used to see our image other is the coating surface or that coating is of silver metal or aluminium metal fine and this coating is so smooth which help to give our image in a clear perspective fine we can see a clear image of our in the mirror 
only when that other side of the mirror is polished well. Plane mirror takes place at silver surface inside it. Now the reflection of light takes place on that plane mirror which is inside of it. But other side is the polished surface inside that. That is your reflection one. So a uh, plane mirror or mirror which generally we use at a room many places. We are using it in dressing table. We are using it over in the washrooms and all. So that all are mirror only or that mirror is only uh, called as plane mirror. Now uh, here is one of the drawing of plane mirror. Generally plane mirror is in shape of rectangle or square or that. any shape it can be. But in uh, the when we are going to show it in the picture of reflection we are going to show mirror in the form of a straight line and other side we have such kind of a oblique or curved line slant line also you can mention here this slant line is going to mention that this side of this plane mirror is polished that this side is polished this side is polished and when light is going to strike and then it reflect it back it will help to form image in this plane mirror so this will become your incident and this will be become your reflected one and it will only help to form image on the plane mirror now if uh, we have seen that how reflection of light from a mirror Uh, from and how it will be reflected from other object like you if you are going to take any opaque object you cannot find your own if i am going to take an opaque like a piece of a wood i am going to take it and light again light is falling on that and reflected back but i cannot see my image in that wooden uh, wooden uh, that sheet why is it so since uh, we cannot find a sheet since uh, that is not a shiny surface and that will not reflect the light back so that is one of the reason why we won't be able to see our own image in that wooden uh, wooden uh, that sheet okay now if i am going to take a such other mirror where the other side of that mirror is not smoothly painted that is not covered with a shiny metal or their coating is not proper then again the same issue will be there the same problem will be there you cannot find it out your own image in that you cannot found your own image and the light will be reflected here and there from that so if i we are going to understand this with like if i have taken a smooth not a smooth surface i have taken an irregular figure and that is roughly uh, painted so at one go many lines will or many rays will fall on it and it is going in the different direction it will reflect it back in the different direction and when it is reflected back in the di different direction then a proper image is not able to forming in that so it is very important that if you want to form a image during reflection of light you must need a plane mirror which is properly painted on one side smooth covering uh, coating over it now a regular reflection of light can form an image regular reflection of light can only form an image irregular reflection of light will not form any image so the regular reflection of light by the smooth surface of a plane mirror produces an image of our face when we look into the mirror so what we understood here that same only that whenever we look into a mirror we find it out that if regular reflection of light will be there means the other side of the mirror is properly painted properly coated then only we can see a clear image of our face in that mirror irregular reflection many of times you have find it out that uh, that mirror is not uh, good 
it is not it is not uh, looking nice in that mirror why is it so since irregular reflection will be there or the painted uh, painted side is uh, destructed or the painted side is somewhere you will find it out the painting was not done so that mirror is showing irregular reflection and by doing irregular reflection you cannot see a proper image in the mirror now uh, some of the common object having very smooth surface are mirror polished metal still water here also you will be finding like if it is are that uh, reflection due to reflection of light image formation you can see in plane mirror apart from plane mirror in which object you can find it out uh, that image so you can mention over there that we can find uh, image in uh, you can find image in like and still water shiny surface of metal also that will be used for proper reflection now now up uh, now after this image of an object is formed now uh, image of an object is formed so image is forming like what are the different types of image when we look into mirror we see the image of our face into it so uh, there are two types of images that can be formed with light that is real image and virtual image so light is used to form two types of images that is real images and virtual image now real image you can find it out that in uh, cinema holes due to uh, that focus light and all that image will be formed so uh, real image is forming in cinema holes when you will look into television that a screen is already forming real image so virtual image means when you will look it into uh, that mirror that is forming mirror image many of times if you are raising right hand so on the other side you will be getting that you are raising your left hand so in the mirror that will become opposite fine so that is your virtual image so there are some characteristics of image which is formed by a plane mirror that must be there so first of all okay so here i am going to draw a picture and to that picture we will understand how an image of an object will be formed using plane mirror so here i have taken a plane mirror plane mirror and then now on this side we have a bulb we have a bulb on this side. so on the other side also you will be finding image of this bulb you will be finding image of this bulb now what happened how this image of bulb will be formed now here from uh, this location like light is falling from this and then reflecting it back now here and here from two location it is incidencing but it is going into the eyes and by this the image here now when uh, this eye image is forming here in the eyes so light is incidency from source of light and by falling on the plane mirror it is reflecting back and this ray which is reflecting back that is extended and then we will be getting this image so this is the image formation of an object how the image will be formed so two rays incidencing on one place and then reflecting it back Mm -hmm. 
and then you can see this image very important when any ray falling on a plane mirror very important then reflecting it back to form a image of that particular object so plane mirror then incidenting light then reflecting right and reflecting right when we extend it from the back side we find it out any image or that object now characteristics of image which is formed by a plane mirror what are the characteristics of the image so the image form so what are the characteristics i'll just erase it and then uh, i can write what are the characteristics of image first of all characteristics of image are formed by a plane mirror since here till here we were talking about plane mirror only the image formed in a plane mirror is virtual or unreal it cannot be obtained on a screen now virtual image is formed by a mirror as i told you where when you will be standing in front of mirror you will be pointing that if you are raising your right hand you can see that your left hand is raising up so image which is formed in a plane mirror image some of the points which you have to remember image or images image form in a plane mirror in a plane mirror is virtual virtual means that is not real or not real unreal also you can write it down so that is not real means if you are raising your right hand then on the other side you will be finding that image is raising left hand then uh, image image is of same size as a an object so image is of same size next what we have that and images form in a plane mirror plane mirror Erect also. Erect means same side up. If you are putting your head head up like this, so on the other side here, there also you will be finding erect image only. The head will be on upward direction. So image formed in a plane mirror is virtual or unreal. It cannot be obtained on a screen. Number two, image formed in a plane mirror is at the same distance behind the mirror. then the image in a plane mirror is of the same size then image in a plane mirror is erect it is the same side up same side up as the object then image in a plane mirror is laterally inverted that is sideways transverse trans reversed with respect to the object so now image has been formed by your plane mirror what is the use of plane mirror at plane mirror are used at home to view ourselves then plane mirrors are used to make periscopes also now plane mirrors are fixed on the wall of certain shops like jewelry shop to make the shop look and bigger so there are certain uses of plane mirror is also there even plane mirror is used in the wall of uh, showrooms also so that is use of a plane mirror so we can find it out we can see that what are the different uses of plane mirror and how we can utilize how image can be concluded or formed with that so that is very important plane mirrors you just go through that plane mirrors then we have periscope and one pinhole camera these two activity will be left that we are going to start in the next class 
Today I will be finishing the class here. That is all for today. Children have a good day.